Why hello, welcome to the fourth video to this tiresome series. Today we're making the Starfrost Cape. If this is the first time you've seen a video from me, I have made three of the Starfrost set pieces and there's still two more videos to come. If you're watching my content regularly, please make sure you're subscribed. As you can see, barely any of you are. Stop depending on the YouTube algorithm to put my videos in your recommended, else you'll probably end up missing out on something. Anyway, enough of that, let's talk about the cape. The first thing I did was make a wireframe. With the way the cape is in-game, it was gonna need something to hold the shape. I started by straightening the wire out, and then I curled the very end of the wire. I also pinned the wire in place, just so it'd be easier to shape the wire. Overall, this process was quite hard. It ended up using that entire roll of wire. I ended up adding a little shape at the back here, just for support. I got some smaller wire and wrapped that around that part there just to keep it all together. Because the thing was moving around a lot, so it kind of needed that stability. Then I did the other side. And here's a closer look at what I did at the back. After the wireframe was finished, I then began to mess around with some fabric. Once I was happy with the look, I then tied it with a ribbon. And I put it on my mannequin. Next thing to do was create a template. So I got the wire frame and then I traced it around a bit of newspaper. This helped me make the other one the exact same shape as well. Using the outline I'd just done, I uh, bent the other one to be the same shape as the outline. Then I cut the template out for the fabric. After that was cut out, I used the template piece to draw the shape onto a folded bit of fabric. I also made sure that I had enough room for seam allowance, which is why it's not right to the edge of the fabric. I repeated this twice, so I'd end up with four pieces in total. Then I cut them out and made sure I had enough seam allowance. I decided now would be a good time to make the star template for the end of the cape pieces. Oh, and there's the cat. I had made a star template before I began recording, but it was way too small for the cape things that I'd actually made, so I made a bigger template here. Just like the cape template, I took the star template and traced around it on folded fabric, and then I cut the fabric out. I 
I then took each individual star and began pinning black ribbon to it in the shape of a star. And I did this to all the pieces. Then I sewed the ribbon on. After that, I ironed them. I also ironed the cape pieces too. And then used the template to cut out some interfacing. And then I ironed the interfacing onto the back of the stars. After that, I pinned the stars onto the end of the cape pieces and then I cut little notches in the stars so I could fold the fabric over. Then I sewed that down. I had created an accidental template that I ended up using. This is just my shoulder. I can't really explain how I made it other than I cut a neck hole in the newspaper and then stuck it on my mannequin and then began taping the pieces down. But anyway, I cut the I cut the template out on a folded bit of fabric and then I pin at the notch part. This is to create the inside part of the upper cape. As you can see, it kind of looks like the cape. I take that piece to the sewing machine and then I just sew those little notch things. I can't remember what they're called. Oh wait, they're called darts. <laughs> they're called darts, not notches. Yeah, I'm not really a professional. I just do this for fun. So like, I don't really know the correct terminology for stuff. Now that I had all my individual cape pieces, it came to attaching them all. So I started off with the inside cape part and there's the top part. I took one panel of each cape piece and I pinned that to the under cape. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Now, I'm gonna warn you, after this part it's gonna get really confusing. Trust me, I was confused myself, but as you can see I'm marking where I want to pin the pieces. And I basically swapped the side that the other cape pieces were on. I have no idea how to explain this in a simple way, so I apologise. As you can see, I was confusing myself with this and later on in the video you will see that I actually confuse myself a lot to the point where I have to like <laughs> unpick some stitches. <laughs> But anyway, I sew the fabric down that I had pinned. I did the exact same thing with the top pieces, but I go wrong here. I can't really explain what went wrong, but 
this isn't a tutorial video, okay? Th this isn't a tutorial video. This is just me documenting how I make these things. It's, it's not a tutorial. I'm, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I went back to the stars and I decided to cut off the Epsos cape because I know that this black fabric would would like would have shown through the stars. After that, I had pinned the front and back stars together and sewn them together. Then we have the cape floof. So I had laid the big part of the cape out across the floor and I laid my fur fabric next to it just to measure how much I actually needed. I didn't catch on camera so I just decided to edit it out but I just cut out a long strip of fur fabric. So here I'm pinning the cape pieces together and then I sewed across the line. And I did this to both pieces as well. Once the two floaty cape pieces were intact, I began to turn those pieces inside out. And this is where I realised I'd gone wrong. I had sewn the floaty pieces to the wrong side of the outside upper bit, so I had to unpick the stitches on those two panels. The floaty pieces were still attached to the inside part of the cape, so what I did was I just laid the top piece on top once I figured out how to sort this out. <laughs> Trust me, this cape was just breaking my brain which is it's why i can't even explain it now whilst editing the video i <laughs> it really hurt my brain <laughs> but anyway the good side of the cape is on the inside so what i'm doing here is i'm sewing or uh, pinning the fur fabric inside so when I actually go to sew this, I'm sewing the inside, the outside, and the fur pieces together. So when I turn this inside out, all the seams are on the inside of the cape. I also didn't sew over the entrance of the floaty pieces because of course I need to feed the wire frame through it. After that I went back and I got the one piece of the floaty cape piece and then I got the outside bit and sewed those together so you could still open it. Now that all the pieces were sewn together, it was time to put it on the wire frame. This was pretty tricky because I had to squish the frame just to get it through the top piece. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm basically ruining all the shape I had made before, but this will be fixed later.
Once I'd fed the frame through the sleeves, I then went back and, you know, tried to get the shape back. After the rest of the cape had been sorted out, I then began to hand sew the top part of the cape together. I had to hand sew it because of course the frame was on the inside, which would have made it incredibly hard to put it under the sewing machine. I used a ladder stitch, or the invisible stitch, so you wouldn't be able to see this. After I'd sewn all around the top, it was time to sort out the very front part with the pleats. Once I was happy with the pleat placement, I then began to hand sew it together. I did this with the other side too. And then I cut off all the excess fabric, which I didn't get on screen. <laughs> and just like in my other videos, I needle felted the star. For the bow, I used white lace because I don't have any white ribbon, and I also used this lace on the skirt. So I sewed the bow and then I sewed the star onto it and then attached it to one side of the cape and I took one part of the snap fastener and began to attach that and of course I added the other part to the other side and here we are, here's the finished thing. Now the floaty bits aren't as floaty as they'd look with the skirt on. The skirt would uh, push them out, obviously. To those asking about me wearing the whole set, I will wear the whole set in the finale video. I've never made a cape before or anything like this, so yeah, I mean you can tell I got very confused whilst doing it. I can't say I'm that proud of this, but I think it's alright for my first time. But let me know what you think in the comments, maybe give me tips, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just glad that it's over. Anyway, I have a Roblox group which you can find through my profile. I also have a Twitter. These are both of my Instagram accounts. One is for cosplay and one is for art. I also have a TikTok account, but if you can't get onto TikTok for whatever reason, I upload my TikTok videos to my cosplay Instagram account under the Reels feature. But anyway, thanks for watching.